There are calls for charges against Marjorie Taylor Greene for sedition or even treason because she is saying states should consider seceding from the United States if they don't get their way from the federal government. This is wild, wild stuff. Marjorie Taylor Greene posted to Twitter, now known as X. So she didn't tweet. We can say she excreted on X. She posted an excretion saying, uh, quote, uh, if the Biden administration refuses to stop the invasion of cartel led human and drug trafficking into our country, states should consider seceding from the union from Texas to New York City to every town in America. We are drowning from Biden's traitorous America last border policies. Listen, I would love for Marjorie Taylor Greene leave the country, go to your own new country, impeach Biden in that country. That would be a great way to get her off of our hands because she's really just uh, 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 exhausting with this Biden impeachment stuff. But let's actually think about what she's saying here. There is the question whether calling for secession as an elected member of the federal government amounts to treason or sedition or any other criminal offense. The answer is not simple. The, uh, I, I'm not going to come here and start yelling. That's treason the way some did in my email inbox this morning. This is a complicated legal and constitutional matter. Uh, if if I were you know, one of those who brought you the insurrection and who insists that the guy who lost actually won and should be president, I'd be careful about calling for secession. But the truth is that there is a difference between advocacy and action. Even as an elected official of the federal government, Marjorie Taylor Greene advocating for secession or saying it might be a good idea in this case, it's almost certainly protected by the First Amendment. And um, we, we, we know that there are limits to what you're allowed to say, depending on the position that you're in and so on and so forth. But just saying, hey, it might be a good thing for states to secede if they don't do if, if they don't get their way on this, that almost certainly is not criminal. Now, if Marjorie Taylor Greene was actively working towards the overthrow of the government, um, taking tangible steps to cause harm by encouraging states to actually attempt to secede, then there might be something there. There's this curse uh, uh, case, Brandenburg v. Ohio. It's a Supreme Court case. And the idea of it is a, setting a standard when speech could be prohibited. And the court held that the government cannot punish inflammatory speech unless the speech is directed to inciting or producing imminent lawless action. I don't know that you could successfully argue that Marjorie Taylor Greene tweeting they should consider secession meets that standard. It just doesn't seem like it does. Now, that all being said, states don't have a right, a legal right to unilaterally secede from the union. That doesn't mean advocating for secession is a criminal act. But we, we have talked about over time, states don't have this unilateral right to secede. So bottom line, I don't think this is treason. I don't think this is sedition. She's just saying it might be a good idea in certain circumstances. That all being said, though, a country made up of red states would not be economically viable. I've talked about this before. It would be a dead on arrival country economically. As many of you know, red states on average receive more federal funding than they contribute in taxes. So if all of a sudden the red states leave, right, they, they take their toys and go home and make their own country, they are instantly economically upside down if they separate from the United States. Who do you trade with? Countries around the world have trade deals with the United States of America. If a bunch of red states leave, all of a sudden they have no trade agreements with the rest of the world. They have to rebuild those. How long does that take? How economically destructive is it for the period of time that they don't have those agreements? What currency do they use if they make their own country and they continue using the US dollar? Their monetary policy is still effectively determined by what becomes a foreign entity, the Federal Reserve. If they make their own country and create their own currency, that has a whole series of challenges, including lack of trust in the currency, instability, etc. Economic diversity. A lot of the states that lean red politically have single industry uh, states where a state is almost entirely reliant on one major industry, could be energy, could be agriculture. 
the lack of diversified economy will be a problem for this red state country. Uh, and also lack of economic cloud and migration and brain drain. You know, if you live in Texas and you teach at, I don't know, some school in Texas and uh, you learn that Texas is leaving the United States, do you stay or do you move to a state that will remain in the United States? So the brain drain aspect of it would also be significant. It doesn't make any sense. But that being said, I don't believe that what Marjorie Taylor Greene is saying is actually criminal. It's disgusting. It's short sighted. It's stupid. It's likely unethical. But I do not believe that it is a crime. If you disagree with me, let me know.